Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is game user settings? The shadow quality node. Now this is a really simple node. Most of the game user settings ones are when it comes to quality, but it can have some dramatic effects on the performance of the game for your user. Now because this is a quality node from the game user settings, we would drag off of a git game user settings node. We could type in shadow. We're going to get back a getter and a setter. And it's pretty simple. We're either going to plug in an integer with a value between 0 and 3, or we're going to get back an integer if we're using the getter. Now 0 through 3, or low, medium, high, and epic, or crappy, or actually no shadows, crappy, crappy, ist, and you know whatever you want to call it doesn't really matter. It's a 0 through 3 scale, four different ranges. It doesn't correspond to a fixed setting inside the engine. It actually changes a group of settings. Let me show you it in use, and then I'll show you the settings it changes. So if we go look at our characters here, we can see a few things. We have these shadows on the ground when you look through the interface, and they're pretty crisp and clear. We change our shadow quality to level 2, 0, 1, 2, and 3, and hit apply. You'll notice the edges become softer. If we actually go ahead and try to zoom in on them, look at our little player here. Epic has these harder shadows, and high has more softer. We go to medium. Well, we pretty much lost our shadow definition. We're using blob shadows for the most part. And low shadows, well, it pretty much eliminates them completely. Now, what do I mean by it changes a group of settings? Well, let's look at the documentation, and let's actually see what it shows. And as you can see here, inside of your base scalability INI file, this is something inside of your config folder for your game, you're going to find a bunch of settings already predefined. These settings are 0, 1, 2, and 3, and they correspond to your 0 through 3 setting on your set shadow node. Now, because this is an INI built I, inside of an INI file, it is completely adjustable by you. You can actually adjust these as you wish, but the default settings work pretty good. And as you can see, what they do is pretty much turn on and off or change settings of different shadow functions, shadow settings. So like on our epic ones, shadows are actually turned on. Our light function quality is set to 1. We've got 5 for our quality itself. We can have 4 cascading shadows. Our resolution is 1024. Radius threshold is you know 0 0.03. Distance scale is full at 1 and transition scale is at 1. Setting it to 2 lowers these settings, 1 lowers them even further, and 0 pretty much will shut off most of your shadows. Some of them will stay on. Boy, shadow quality 0 and light function quality 0, you're going to have some pretty poor shadows if they are even to show up. So the point of this is, rather than turning on or off shadows or making shadows on very firm, you know, hard edged, and then off, or blob shadows, you have four different settings you can play with. Maybe you don't want blob shadows to be your low setting. You could adjust your quality settings inside your file and make it where they're less blobby and more defined, but still not as defined as your other settings. Which would like, for example, we go into here and we hit medium and we hit apply. You'll notice our settings changing in and out. We can hit apply and we have our different settings. We have some blurriness in the back based on our distance going to more defined. You can maybe change these as you see fit and have these more defined. It's all up to you. But the point of the node is just to simply change between your different scalability settings for your shadow quality, which is inside of your base scalability INI file. The actual settings for shadows that we have in that file that I just showed are beyond this video. They are very advanced topics and they're things that need to be tweaked based on you as the developer and how you see fit for them to be inside your game. But the point is you're allowed to change them inside of your engine using the set shadow quality node. We are pretty much going to wrap up this node. Like I said, it's pretty simple in concept. You fill in a value between 0 and 3. It's going to set the value you can see between 0 and 3 based on these scalability settings. 
And if you want to get the current value, we could just go ahead and we could go in and get, oh, that's a visual effects. Here we go. Get our game user settings, get the shadow quality and then do whatever we want. It'll return back zero through three based on whatever our setting is. 